welcome back guys, General Tony here, coming back on this lovely Sunday morning with a brand new Clash Royale episode and we are going to be doing something very fun, very exciting right now inside of this video. So on YouTube I'm sure you have seen thousands of videos about the most expensive deck in the game, the cheapest, cheapest deck in the game. Basically, we're going to kind of switch it up a little bit right now inside of this episode. We're going to do the most expensive deck against the cheapest deck. And we want to see which one of these two decks really is the best, the most optimal to use inside of Royale, guys. Depending on your arena, of course. So, my name is General Tony. And we are currently doing a Zero to Hero Challenge, making our way back up into the Legendary Arena. So, that is what we're going to be doing. I've built myself the most expensive deck inside of the game. Now, I will say... You can see down here at the bottom, it says 6.2 Elixir. Now, the reason why it's that cheap is because we have the Mirror Card inside of the deck, guys. Because the Mirror Card only counts for, like, 3 Elixir. But the reason why we are going to be bringing the Mirror Card is obviously because we can actually mirror the 3 Musketeers. So, technically, this is the most expensive deck. But if I was to, like, you know, if I was to just go down here... And let's see, let's see. If I was to drop the lightning instead of the mirror, you can see it becomes 6.8 elixir. But we're going to keep the mirror card because obviously you can mirror the, uh, the three musketeers. You can mirror Sparky. You can mirror any one of those cards. So it is actually a lot more than what it says on screen. So we are going to go for a live attack using this deck. Obviously inside of the, uh, we're only inside of the Pekka's Playhouse. But don't worry, we are pushing our way back up. We're then going to go in for a second live attack using the cheapest deck inside of the game. And we're going to compare, we're going to contrast, we're going to kind of conclude which one of those is the best deck. So just before we do get into the episode, if you are new to the channel, my name is General Tony. I'm going to be your host, guys. And of course, we are giving away a mountain of gems this week. So if you want the chance to win 14,000 gems, $99.99, all you have to do, leave a like on this episode right now to show some support to the channel. Let's smash 9,900 likes, guys. Guys, just to represent, you know, 99.99, and then uh, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners, and of course, enter the free raffle link in the description box down below, guys. So here we go. It is time to get ourselves into a live attack, going into the Pekka's Playhouse. Wish me luck. So just before I do forget also, oh, we're actually inside of the Spell Valley. Interesting. So I want you guys to go down below in that comment section. Every single one of you will take five seconds of your time. Let me know which deck is going to be the cheapest, which one really is going to work better. So let's just take out that Prince. So we're going to we're gonna drop the Pekka in there. That's going to one-shot, hopefully, or close to one-shot it. That's okay. So I want to know from you guys, which one is going to be the best? Which is going to be best? If you think the most expensive, then comment hashtag most expensive. If you think the cheapest, then come and hashtag cheapest. Let me know which one of these decks is going to do the best inside of the actual uh, The two raids we are about to do live in front of you. So to be honest with you, I made a little bit of a mistake there. We, we got some damage done to our tower. But I'm not really too bothered, guys. We're going to use the giant skeleton there as a distraction. Now, I am definitely in a bit of trouble here. Because I've wasted so much elixir at the start using the Pekka to defend, and then I drop down the Sparky on the right-hand side. It looks like we are going to be losing one of the towers, but it's cool. I'm not really bothered about it, guys. I know I'm going to get the victory no matter what, so here we go. Well, I hope I get the victory anyway. I kind of suck, but we'll see what happens. So the Royal Giant's going to be dropped in on the left-hand side. He's going to defend against that using about seven or eight Elixir, which was not the smartest move to do, because he's actually going to lose the Bomb Tower. And we're going to maybe one shot off. Yes, we got one shot off. So it's really not too bad. Here we go. Three Musketeer time. As soon as they connect onto the Prince, it's game over for the Prince. There we go. And we still got the three Musketeers up and standing. This is definitely my most favorite card inside of the game. And he fireballs them. Damn. Okay, so now I know he's got the fireball. So if you haven't yet, do not forget to go down below into that comment section and let me know which deck is going to be the best. Is it going to be the cheapest? Is it going to be the most expensive? We're just going to have to wait and see. So here we go. We're going to start a push from the back using that level. I think it's a level 2 golem and he's actually sending in a hog rider. We're going to see if we can defend against the hog rider using Sparky, but it looks like he's going to take it down, guys. Don't worry as I said, I'm not too I'm not really too worried about it. So we got the golem on the left and Sparky on the right. So we're going to go in with a double Sparky here. He's not going to be able to defend against this. The golem is going to be an absolute tank here. Let's see what happens. So here we go. We're going to drop Oh, oh, we're going to drop in a Pekka as well. Let's just go for one big push on his tower. Let's see if we can go straight for the crown tower using this push here on the left hand side. So we're also going to drop in the three musketeers. The golemites are on the tower over there and the sparky is still up and alive. It's going to be a royal giant as well once the pecker arrives. We're going to hold back the royal giant until we take down the tower. There we go. Royal giant goes down now as well. So we got the golemites. We got the royal giant. 
We got another Sparky coming in from the back. This guy, it's game over. It is game over. There is no way he's surviving. The peck is doing some damage. Sparky's about to unleash hell. There we go, guys. Wow. Okay, so that was quick. That was quick. I'm going to hand it to this expensive deck. We, we got off to a very slow start, and then we really did pick it up towards the end, guys. But there it is, another 35 trophies. So let's change it up now. We are inside of the Spell Valley. So we've just entered the new arena. So now we're going to make the cheapest deck inside of the game. Once again, we're going to keep that mirror card because the mirror card is actually uh, can mirror the cheapest. So let's see. We've got the, uh, the goblins. We've got the archers. We've got the bomber. We are not going to be keeping that elixir collector. We've got the spear goblins. Let's just keep going down. Any other twos? There we go. We've got the ones, of course, which is going to be the skeletons. Any other two elixir cards? We've got those fire spirits, one of my favorite cards inside of the game. And we still have a few more spaces to fill. Let's chuck in the princess. She's going to be three. And then we are also going to get in the deck. There we go. So that's 2.2 elixir. And then the final card we're going to use. Let's go for the minor. Let's do it, guys. So let's just make sure there's no other two elixir cost cards. So that's going to take it to 2.4 elixir. So we want to drop in the, uh, the mirror card. Where's that mirror card gone? Drop in the mirror. Drop out the archers. And that's going to take us to 2.2 Elixir. Can we not get it down to 2.1? Can we get it down to 2.1 Elixir? Oh, there we go, guys. I completely forgot about the Lightning spell. So we're going to drop out the Bomber, drop in the Lightning. And now that is officially the cheapest deck inside of the game. So we are ready to rock and roll. Let's go in for a second live attack, guys. Except this time, of course, we're using the cheapest deck possible. So don't forget, you can now change your mind. Do you think the most expensive deck is going to win? Or do you think that the cheapest deck is going to win? I'm going to have to stick with the, uh, the most expensive deck. Because that Sparky deck... That Sparky Pekka combo was pretty damn insane. So we're going to start this off by just spamming, literally spamming goblins in there on the left hand side. Now we got the uh, we got the fire little, uh, little fire spirits, but it looks like we may even take that tower down already or come very close to doing it. 616 hit points already, guys. Not bad at all, not bad at all. So we got the witch on the left hand side over there. It's okay, she's going to get distracted by the goblins. Then we're going to drop in the melee goblins. He's got the, uh, what is that? Is that the knight coming in on the left hand side? Sorry, the right hand side. Our goblins have reached his tower again and got off like 400 hit points. So they do a quick amount of damage. Check this out, guys. Just for the lols, we have dropped a miner on those archers. Look what the miner does. It just spanks the, uh, the archer on the head. So we're going to go in with a double miner. Let's see what happens here. Double miner and some skeletons. And we're going to use a zap spell. That tower should be history. There it is, guys. That tower goes down pretty quickly. He hasn't even taken out the first miner, let alone the second one. They're still up and alive. Look at them both go. The double miners spanking the crown tower as well. That's absolutely hilarious. So I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty damn surprised with the deck so far. So we're going to drop and uh, we're going to spam in these goblins once again. Here we go. It's just like spamming in troops. We're going to take out that tower on the left hand side. Okay, so this army definitely does damage a lot quicker. The only the only thing I will say, the uh, obviously the most expensive deck, although it doesn't do that sort of uh, that damage that quickly, but once it does start, once it does get going, it's pretty damn insane and it is very hard to stop. So we're going to go in with the double goblins, chuck in the spear goblins as well. And the tower on the left hand side is about to go down. There we go. Goes down very quickly to those melee goblins. And it's just all down to the crown tower. So we are going to go in for a third attack, guys. I think we're going to use half and half. It's going to be very interesting. So here we go. Minor, fire spirit, little uh, skeletons. We're going to go in with the princess as well. Let's just literally spam this now. I think there's no way for him to survive. If we just keep spamming his tower, it's game over. So he actually just took my tower there, but check the crown tower goes down in seconds. Level 9 goblins doing a great amount there. So as I said, we are going to go in for one final live attack. We are going to use a half and half battle deck. So let's see what happens here. So check it out. We're going to go to the most expensive deck. So let's switch back to the most expensive one. Now I want to keep Sparky. I want to keep the golem. No, I don't want to keep the golem. I want to keep Sparky, the three musketeers, the royal giant, and the mirror card. So we're going to drop out four of the cards and chuck in four of the cheapest. So the peck is going to be dropped out for the goblins because those goblins are awesome. We're going to use the princess because I absolutely love the princess. We are going to be using the spear goblins because they seem to have done a great job. And the last card to drop out is, of course, the rocket. And we're actually going to drop in the fire spirits because they, once again, done a great job. So that's going to take us to 4.0 elixir. So this is going to be a half and half deck, half cheap, half expensive. Let's see if it's going to do better. So you've seen the cheapest attack, guys. You've seen the most expensive attack. Which one would you say done the better job? I, I really don't know. I definitely had more fun with the most expensive deck. Let's go straight in with the three musketeers. Let's see if we can get a couple of shots off. If we can, it's going to be game over for this guy. No, not quite, not quite. Okay, so he managed to survive there. Not a bad job at defending. 
He still spent roughly the same amount of elixir as me, so it's not too bad. We're going to drop in those spear goblins there. Just do some distraction to that musketeer and make sure it doesn't do too much damage. So here we go. Going to go in with a royal giant. Perfect. He sent in a bomb. I'm not going to do too much damage to the royal giant, I don't think. He's sending in some, uh, some barbarians now just behind. We're going to go in with a princess, do a little bit of splash damage. And of course, we also have those fire spirits. So here we go, guys. Fire spirit's going to absolutely wipe out those barbarians in seconds. Literally seconds. We got the spear goblin, sorry, the melee goblins to take out the hog riders. But he chucked in the arrow card. Smart move, smart move. I'm not going to lie. Pretty impressive. But here we go. We got Sparky coming up in our, uh, our future cards, guys. So we will be able to drop a Sparky very shortly. And we've already taken his tower down to at 900 hit points. Gonna get one more shot off. Can we get another one? Nope, not quite, but 748 HP. So he's got his musketeer down on the uh, the, the right-hand side there. We're gonna do a little bit of a play here. We're gonna drop down three musketeers on the right, and we're actually gonna go in with a distraction, the Sparky on the left-hand side. If we can build up the elixir in time. Look at that. Okay, that was a sly move. Okay, so he's got me. He's got me there, guys. So we're gonna have to change our plans. And we're going to go in for a, a slight rush here on the left-hand side. Just protecting the queen. The queen's getting some nice protection there. Here we go. Fire spirits. Mirrored fire spirits. Going to take out those minions and only cost us two elixir. So that was definitely a great trade. So we got the little melee goblins in on the tower. They just took it down pretty damn quickly. And it looks like we're going to be winning the third battle in a row, guys. So we got Sparky. I don't want to drop that down just yet. Instead, let's allow him to take that tower. And we're going to drop in our, uh, our musketeers. Three musketeers getting taken out again. Damn. Okay. Okay, we're in trouble here, guys. We are in some uh, some little bit of trouble here. Here we go. Let's go in with a double fire spirits. We need to defend because this guy, this guy's actually done a little... Oh, damn. I didn't see he's dropped in a bomber. We're going to lose our goblins. We are in trouble here, guys. Should, should we go for it? Let's let's go for a push, guys. Let's do, let's do this. Let's gamble. It's going to be all or nothing. We're going to try and take out his troops here. We could be in trouble. He's taking out my tower. No, there's seconds left now. We're going to lose this. We are going to lose this. Oh, no. Okay, we're in trouble here, guys. We are in serious, serious trouble. We need to get some damage done to this tower ASAP. He's just taken out my troops and he's got my crown tower. Wow, we lost. We lost. That was a great game. That was a good game. I'm not going to lie, guys. I got a little bit of a battering there. Minus 21 trophies. So that is going to be the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and, of course, subscribe to the channel. I will see you very shortly in a few hours' time for another one. Have a great Sunday, guys. Peace out.